Hey guys, I'm Lucas. Welcome to KNews episode 35 covering the upcoming Space Shuttle launch. Yes, the mighty Space Shuttle launches again. It was a very big surprise, but NASA decided to launch the Orbital Discovery to space again, which was the first one retired in 2011. Experts assume the reason to be the left 15 Space Shuttle main engines, which are being upgraded for the upcoming Space Launch System. SLS will use 4 of these on each core stage, which leaves 3 in spare. A secret source also states two SLS boosters have been produced with the wrong dimensions, using only 4 instead of 5 segments. 4 segments were used for the Space Shuttle, so it makes sense to use them for this mission instead of simply throwing them away. Discovery was recently also upgraded with a powerful system on a chip called the Snapdragon. It could in theory allow it to perform a complete mission autonomously. The launch will take place at Cape Canaveral, Florida, but the exact launch date is yet unknown. However, according to a registration at the Federal Aviation Administration, a launch will deliver a secret payload, the APR FLS-16, to a geostationary transfer orbit in your future. It is a satellite mounted on a center or upper stage, which is commonly used on the Atlas V rocket. The Discovery Orbiter is the only one left, which was modified to carry such an upper stage, but it was never used due to the very high risk threatening the lives of the astronauts. This makes an autonomous launch very likely since there are also no astronauts currently in training for such a mission. Just by the way, the Russian space shuttle Biran flew unmanned on its first and final flight as well. Once the space shuttle separates from the external tank, it will boost itself to the lowest circular orbit possible due to the relatively high payload mass. It will then release Centaur, which will go on with its secret mission. The shuttle will perform a deorbit burn shortly after and head for its first unmanned re-entry. The timing has to be right to land back at the launch site, but it can compensate quite a lot of variation thanks to its aerodynamic properties. If everything goes according to plan, Discovery will touch down smoothly and conclude its service once and for all. The data gathered from the flight will ensure the upgraded RS-25 engines work as expected under real launch conditions and will help to bring humans to Mars in the future. Ok, that was KNews episode 35 about the space shuttle with APR FLS-16 and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching. Hey.